Just hear me out for a moment. I joined TikTok around June of 2021. And since my time of being on this app, I went through experiencing, seeing, and watching a lot of BS happen on this app. And if you were following my original ADS Play 101 account, you guys know what I'm talking about. I joined again at the end of June. By the time August of that year came around, of 2021, there was a group of trannies on this app with predatory behavior that was literally putting out video after video stating that if they like you, you have to like them back. And if you don't, that means you're a transphobe or a homophobe. I watched how people like myself would put videos out there and then all of a sudden we would get in trouble or we would get in like some type of bad situation because we spoke against that type of behavior. I sit here and watch the, this app, which is in their guidelines, speak against posting sexual content but in that same breath, they will allow a bunch of females to get on here and promote their OF pages. There have been several pedophiles on this app that shouldn't have that, that shouldn't even be allowed on here that were allowed to have accounts. I've seen women beaters get on here, panderers, a whole bunch of stuff that that really shouldn't even be on this app allowed to flourish i've seen white people do blackface and tiktok just virtually do nothing to take their accounts down i've seen where women openly admitted to lying about men rap 3 in them and nothing happened to them it's just i've seen so much and i noticed that anytime anybody spoke against those type of people or that type of behavior TikTok would always take the response videos down. Like the negativity would, can stay up, but the people responding and denouncing that type of behavior always gets in trouble. You know, I take someone like someone like Moses the prophet, who consistently speaks about speaks against the the BS and the nonsense mentalities that happen on this app. A guy that openly speaks out against the the demoralizing behaviors of of women and men on this app and what does he get for that he gets his accounts banned and he has to make a new one and build it right back up i've seen people like king lion and several other people who just trying to defend themselves get their videos taken down because it's considered to be bullying or going against community guidelines but they don't say nothing about the people who were talking about his wife or getting mad at him over comic book characters you know, King Lion gets in trouble, but not the people that's doing all the fucking threats and shit. Hell, y'all even remember like Ziggy Tyler? He was a guy that made a video talking about the racism that was in the TikTok marketplace. So once you reach a certain point, you're able to make a TikTok marketplace to sell your merchandise and things like that. But when you make it, you have to put a description in there describing what that, what the, what the items are or what your products are. And in his video, he typed in, you know, Ku Klux Klan, white power, or anything associated with that, you know, and he was able to go to the next step and actually create the marketplace. But the moment he went back and he put in a description, uh, black, black power, black empowerment, BLM, or anything associated with, you know, saying black encouragement, they said that he couldn't do it. I myself, like, it, it would be like when I got to the point where I was able to, you know, I was one of the the earlier people who got access to TikTok Live Studio when it was still in a beta. And this was around like early 2023 when that happened. No, I, I take that back. It was like late 2024. I mean, it's 2022, excuse me, when I got access to the beta of uh, TikTok Live Studio. And I was having fun with it. But it was several things that happened during that time that TikTok was just looking for an excuse to ban me for some reason. You know, fast forward to August 13th, 2023, I had a live stream where I was talking about, you know, people know that on my ADS Play 101 account, I mainly played Pokemon Unite. That was like the premier game that I played, had fun, built my channel around it. Everybody was in there. I was getting up to like 600 viewers, uh, a stream. So on this particular day, I did a tear maker video and we was talking about the characters and how 
um, how good or bad they was in the game. They suspended my live for, for a week on August 13th, 2023. The reason they took they suspended my live was for hate speech. Now, of course, I sent an appeal, but of course, they it, it wasn't even like three seconds that went by and they just instantly rejected it. Like, I don't see how you... And this is what let me know TikTok doesn't even have a support team. There's no human beings there because I don't see how you can say that somebody is doing hate speech when all they're doing is talking about Pokemon. All you had to do was just watch the video and see that it was like, I don't even know how you confuse that. Then exactly four days after that, I ended up getting my account banned off of they claiming it was IP violation. It wasn't. And I, I I messaged them since the first day it happened. I sent videos, pictures, everything, and they just ignored everything. And my account was was never recovered because of that. And I lost two years and nearly nine thousand followers. TikTok going out their way to plaster all over their app that hey, the United States government is trying to ban the the app one of the main cornerstones that they're using to try to push people to to join the movement is they need to protect free speech let me get this straight you get mad at us when we speak against predatory behavior anytime we defend ourselves you got something to say and you want to take our videos down you keep up the people that's doing the things that your guidelines completely speak against and then you got the nerve to want to ask us to come protect free speech why the fuck would we give a fuck about your free speech when you didn't give a fuck about ours because of how i've been treated on this app by tiktok support and the com the sheer ignorance that i've seen they even have a fake live chat support now there's no people in the live chat to help you at all personally i don't care what happens to this app but i would be lying if i say i don't see the bigger picture here this is a situation where this could really cause a domino effect and what happens to this app absolutely sets precedent to what may happen to other websites in the future so let's say that the United States government decides they want to ban TikTok and what's stopping them from taking steps to like ban other websites that may be speaking out against certain things that they deem uh, the public shouldn't know about or the public shouldn't be speaking about. I've met, I've, I've made connections through my short time of being on TikTok. You know, guys like Afro Sinju who wanted to do collabs with me when I had my old ADS Play 101 account before it got banned. Um, other people who make content that I really enjoy and uh, I learn stuff from, uh, and, 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 a, and a slew of other reasons, you know, the growth that I was able to have on my account from 2021 to 2023 on ADS Play 101, the, co the community that I built. You know, around Common Rider, Super Sentai, uh, Power Rangers, and even Pokemon, you know, in, in anime, you know, I was able to do that in a relatively short period of time in comparison to my other accounts, say on like YouTube or Twitch. So I, I, I can see the, what good this app can provide, you know, to somebody trying to grow, for somebody that's trying to start off growing a community or uh, a social media presence for themselves like i said personally i don't really care if the app stays or goes i really don't care because it's not going to make tiktok support any better they're going to keep banning accounts and doing stupid stuff based on their algorithm no nobody from their support team is actually going to help you get your account back and all that other nonsense which is you know which is for, for, for a lack of better words it's fucked up i got other social media platforms that i could use that aren't gonna be as ignorant and biased and turning a blind eye when they want to, but trying to rule with an iron fist against anybody else that they deem is bad when they when they haven't actually did anything wrong. It all comes down to this. Don't ask me anything hypocritical, such as come speak on your behalf for, for the sake of your survival when the whole other time you've been telling me to shut up and you've been showing me that my voice don't matter.